Girls of Reddit, what are some things you look for when visiting a guy's place for the first time? Whether his house smells good or not. I went to a guy's house once and he kept his cat's litter box in his bedroom, next to his bed. The smell was awful. I could not focus on anything else but the stench of urine, fesses, and cat litter. Your house doesn't have to smell like roses but as long as it doesn't smell like cat it or anything, it's probably fine. Till. A girl will be satisfied if I lived in a clean bathroom. Just throw in a couple books and a poster or two and I've covered 90% of the issues mentioned here. Is there a garbage can in the bathroom? I always really hope there's a garbage can in the bathroom. Edit. Because guys keep asking. It's so women can throw their used pads and tampons away. Edit 2. To all the men who are like. Just flush that stuff. Have you ever even seen an actual pad before? Dated a guy who had an 11x14 photo of himself just at the entrance. Not his family with him too. Just himself. That was a little off-putting. Edit. Love all the funny options for self-portraits that are showing up in this thread. Those are all funny. This was a standard school issue senior portrait with no context on an otherwise blank wall by the front door. And I didn't freak out and run away screaming. I dated him for a month or two. It was just an off-putting item in his apartment. Which was what the OP was asking about. Guy here. I've gotten some constructive criticism about my place. And have adjusted accordingly. 1. Trash can in the bathroom. Bonus points if it has a trash bag in it. Even more points if it has a lid. 2. General cleanliness. Nope. He's not a military leader. Just get the bathroom clear of anything yellow or brown. And you're golden. Er, uh, white. Make your bed even if there's a 1% chance you're bringing a girl over that night. Get a hamper and keep your clothes in it. 3. Stuff on your walls. Some women get anxiety at the sight of blank white walls. Who are they? Wilson Fisk. Anyway. Just get a poster or two of your favorite show. Perhaps Daredevil. Edit. Okay okay. If you're in college. Posters are fine. It's good to show you have some solid interests. After college, or during if you wanna seem mature for your age, get fancy art prints instead. Frame the dip and she'll be eating out of the palm of your pants. 4. Extra pillows. You've seen girls' beds before, or perhaps not if you need all of these tips. Pillows as far as the eye can see. Keep a few in your closet in case she wants a few extra to make sleeping comfortable. It. Hot single girls in your area want to see toilet paper and cleanliness. Reading this thread means I'm pretty much good to go. If only women came to my house. Books. We need to make books cool again. If you go home with somebody and they don't have books, don't duck them. Oh so John Waters. Bathrooms should have toilet paper. Hand soap. Hand towel. Please don't make me use your damp bath towel. And a trash can. Bed should have clean sheets. Although I wouldn't care if the bed was made. A clean water glass in a reasonably easy to find location would be nice too. Ah. Being a man. Getting bonus points for having a ducking trash can and soap in the bathroom. Cleanliness and organization. Doesn't have to be perfect. But there better not be it streaks in your toilet bowl or no paper on the roll. I remember hanging with my GF and her friends and one of them announced she broke up with her BF. Because she checked around while he was in the shower found a pair of panties that weren't hers and assumed he was either cheating or still getting over someone. I think all these mentions of cleanliness are funny. And then half the time I go to a girl's room. There's no ventilation and it just smells like unaired v musk and incense. My first boyfriend after college was such a welcome change from smelly dorm rooms. 1. Plants. Like you're responsible enough to keep that succulent alive? Panties gone. 2. Lighting. Fluorescent bulbs in your desk lamp probably aren't getting anyone in the mood. 3. Clean. It's a bachelor pad not a frat house. If your room is clean I'd be a lot more willing to get bet you're hygienic in other ways. 4. Comfy bed. Girls are like flies to a bed with a plethora of pillows. 5. No visible signs of other girl stuff. Bobby pins. Earring backs. Long blonde hairs in your bed. You know the usual territory marking items. Edit. Okay apparently a ton of you are Nordic god men with long blonde hair. 
Unless you bring home a moron I'm sure she won't assume it's not yours. Full stop. Or at the very least you have a good cover. Pets. I love your pets. Guys. But you have to warn me first so I can pop some Benadryl and keep things going. Edit. Or Loratadine. I said it elsewhere but I guess Yael would rather flood my inbox with Benadryl hate rather than read the rest of the comments. No one mentioned Jizz covered mirrors so I guess I'm good to go. 1. Overall cleanliness. Especially in the bathroom and kitchen. You don't need all your clothes put away. But throw out food that's been sitting out for weeks. Put a trash can in the bathroom. 2. Any indicators of your hobbies. Sports memorabilia. Books. Stuff from traveling. Sports gear. I like to see that a guy does something with his life. 3. Red flags. Anything extra weird. Violent looking. Not a big fan of confederate flags. Camo. Naked pics of girls. Tons of drug stuff etc. 4. Brownie points. Pics of your family. Evidence that you cook. Aesthetically pleasing apartment decor. Extra clean apartment. A pet. These are all bonuses but not necessary. They'll set you apart. Edit. I've had a lot of questions about how to make your apartment look nice. Google single male apartment decorating. Lol. And click images. And there are tons of really great examples. My mother always told me. 27 slash M. To keep a tissue box in the house for extra points with the ladies. One of my exes said the first thing she noticed about my place was how clean it was. My. Female. Best friend noticed the same thing. But realized it was because I don't actually touch most things on my bookshelves. Basically. You should be dusting. That it gives you away if you're a guy like me. Not a girl. But hand soap into the bathroom. Know so many guys that don't own that. Not a girl. But I imagine whether a mother is present or not is a good one. A man over the age of 21 who does not live in a dorm or with his parents should have a grown ass man bed larger than a twin. Unless it's a race car bed. Because that would show zero ducks and that's kind of rad. Out of curiosity which company is the largest provider of bathroom garbage cans and wall art? I'm asking. For a friend. Is there a cat? Am I allowed to pat the cat? Does the cat love the guy? Does the guy love the cat? Is the guy a cat? Cat? If my house was clean. Full of food. Smelled nice. Had a nice bed with decent sheets. Tastefully decorated. Had a pet. Was filled with plants. And showed evidence I could cook for myself. Why would I duck it up by bringing a girl into it? There's nothing left to add. Edit. Thanks for the gold. Folks. Y'all are great. Well. I am a gay gal so not 100% the perspective you are looking for, but whenever I go to a girl's place for the first time, one of the things that really catches my attention is the litter box, and yes, the majority of them have had cats. Is it clean? Has it obviously not been emptied in a few days? Is the smell overwhelming? Is the cat litter well contained? Or is it tracked throughout the entire house? Do I have to pause in the middle of 6 to remove a piece of litter from the bed because it feels like rolling around on a piece of gravel? All of these girls keep talking about the bathroom. Problem is. Girls have some of the most disgusting bathrooms I've ever seen. The best escape route and its alternatives. Weapons or things that could be used against me as such or which I could use if I had to. Bloodstains. Remains of women's hair and clothing. Which probably have blood stains and semen on them. That sick duck. And unwashed dishes. Whoa. I'm a girl and I just realized I'm way grosser than girls expect guys to be. I go by smell. If it smells weird I will not sit on the couch or eat the food and I will wash my hands like I have OCD once I leave. I don't care if it looks clean. If it doesn't smell clean too I'm out. I am married. Why am I even reading this? As a guy, it feels great to know that I have most of these things in my house and in the same general area that most girls are looking for things. Definitely comforting for when I eventually have a girl come over. It seems the scope of all the responses are incredibly focused on the bathroom. Does no one look for furniture? What about an actual bed frame instead of just a mattress? What about having a stocked kitchen? I'm not talking about food. 
but cookware or utensils that aren't plastic or paper. An entertainment system of any kind. Speakers. A TV not just for personal use, or something else that accommodates two people. What about pictures or other remnants of a hobby he likes? So many things that can really describe a person. Clean bathrooms just tell you they do basic maintenance on just the bathroom. I always try to find an excuse to open the fridge. Uncovered food? Does it smell? Is it reasonably stocked? Entirely leftovers? Nothing but beer? You can tell so much about a person by what they keep in stock and how sanitarily they store their food. Dude. Take the easy route like I did. Call your gay friend. Me. Dude. I moved in down the street from you. Can you come help me decorate my place? I need help sorting my stuff and ordering new stuff. Him. Are you asking me because I'm gay and you think I'll be good at this? Me. Yes. But I have beer. Him. Yeah. It can be over in a few minutes. He helped me decorate my living room. Bathrooms. And order new stuff. Plus he is a chef so he helped me figure out my kitchen and told me about soap and a trash can in the bathroom way before this thread. I'm telling you. It pays to call in a professional. I'm quite a messy girl. So I don't expect much when I go over to a guy's house for the first time. If you have a bed for us to cuddle in. A TV and food. I'm good. Till women want their boyfriend's place to a B hotel room. When I first visit a hunky man's place I find all his hoodies and pee on them. By the looks of these responses, I've been dropping the ducking ball apparently. All these replies of what girls want to see when visiting a guy's place, and not one of them wants to see a D. It, a lot of guys telling other guys to clean their bathroom. 1. Cleanliness of the bathroom. 2. Proximity of the bathroom to the bedroom. 3. Another living organism in the house. If the tub is filthy. Dirty tub equals guy that cleans up for new girl. Clean tub equals guy that cleans all the time. This is messing with me. A girl just came over to my place for the first time a couple hours ago. And she didn't even look in the bathroom. Till girls don't duck guys who read books in an e-reader. Their video game collection. I'm really excited by the state of one man's collection. Yo, ladies, don't act like you're not messy fcks. Kind of a whole house to a response, a place to take off my shoes or a mat to wipe them off on, less than two days worth of dishes in the sink, clean drinking glasses, stove relatively clean and not greasy, no spoiled food in the fridge, doesn't smell weird, kitchen table a plus. Don't want to have to eat on the couch all the time. Bathroom sink is free from pubes or beard trimmings. Toothpaste residue. Etc. Trash bin with bag inside. Hand soap. Hand towel. Tissues. Extra toilet paper. Shower is mostly clean with little hair in the drain. Clothes are off the floor in the bedroom. Bed made. More than one pillow. More of a list of things I look for when I'm thinking of you in a relationship way. Not a one night stand way. Well first thing I check is if he takes his shoes off at the door, as this implies his floors aren't gross and he cares about his house. I might take a look here or there for trash on the floor, clothes on the floor, things of that nature. Afterwards it's a few minor things like whether he has toothpaste all over his bathroom sink. And once I'm in the bathroom I can discreetly shut the door and get a real work. I dive nose first into his toilet to track the scent of other women. And if I detect that her genetic code is too far from his own, I become enraged and my retractable barb shoots from my head. And I promptly spray the bathroom in my urine, marking it as my own. At this point he is no longer a potential mate, and I debate whether to eat him or not. Off topic. I've been told by girls that sometimes they calculate by the items you have around the house. How much you make a month or a year. So, to offset this. I've displayed a fake income sheet on my fridge, that lists my monthly income, fake, into various IRAs and saving accounts and credit card accounts. On that paper I bring in about 8-9k a month. I've seen a few of the girls I've brought over, including my now wife, instinctively go straight for that paper on the fridge. I've met women that are way worse than any guy I've ever known. One time, 
I went over to a girl's house for the first time that I was dating. Now, I'm messy but she was ducking filthy. When we sat on the couch, she had a blank folded in one spot that I went to sit on. When I moved it, there was a gigantic ducking fresh chocolate stain, I hope, on her couch. Not to mention the plates, wrappers and god knows what else that she'd shoved under her bed and in her cupboards before I came. Moldy ceilings. Toilet full of skid marks. Ducking hair everywhere. Keep in mind she lived alone. A Ascredix needs a similar thread for men. LOL, a ton of girls in here that are ready to judge people for things they probably don't have in their own apartment. Guy here. Girls are obviously obsessed a bit with your bathroom cleanliness. But a huge tip I can give to any single guys is to have a house plant. It shows that you know how to care for something other than yourself. And that you have potential for hobbies outside things that are electronic and play video games across the screen. Even if it's not true, the plant will get you laid. I swear by this. Edit. Any girls that disagree are simply unaware of their subconscious. And that's okay. You should be. Deal with it though. Plant care turns you on at a primal level and you don't even know it. You are ha ha. Edit of the edit before saving the edit. Don't flip your lid and take this too seriously. It's obviously got some sarcasm to it. I think most things center around being a self-contained grown human adult. I'm in my 30s and have a partner. But if I was dating I would look for signs that he is functional because the last thing a woman wants, and I mean a woman, not a girl with starry-eyed fantasies of fixing a boy, is to play mommy to a grown-ass human. So things such as... Can he feed himself marginally well? An ability to cook and feed oneself is basically the cornerstone of functioning as a human being. If you have not learned this skill yet, I can't help but be suspicious as to why not. Is his space relatively clean? I have dated men who knew I was coming over and still left their coffee table strewn with beer bottles and cigarette ash. I don't want to clean up after you. Your inability to do so for yourself makes me think I will someday have to. Does he give a rit about guest comfort? When someone visits your house they are a guest. To ensure they are comfortable it is best to keep the nastier side of your life cleaned up. So q-tips with giant globs of earwax pasted to them should be thrown away and out of sight. You should make sure chunks of your it are not still pasted to your toilet bowl. Don't be a ducking pig. Again. Seeing his it just makes me think one day he'll expect me to scrub his chunks off the bowl. TL. DR. Don't be gross. Women don't want to date a child who never learned how to take care of themselves. Guy with no books in his place here. I'm gonna die alone. Right. Would my tiny cutout of Saddam Hussein put any of you off? I like to have him watch over me when working. It encourages productivity. I'm from San Francisco. Which is pretty dense and you're pretty lucky to have your own studio apartment. Most times when you go to a guy's place he either has roommates and you have to hang in his room or it's a studio and his bed is right there. I always hope there's a chair. Otherwise I feel like it's a setup so I have to sit on the bed. So, a chair. Second, I always check for a trash can in the bathroom. Bonus points if there's a bag in it. Not sure why but most men I've ever known never line their garbage cans. Why? So gross. The funniest part of this thread is how many girls insist on a super clean and nice apartment with art on the wall and everything. Yet every time I've gone to a girl's apartment, the place is filthy. Especially if multiple girls are there. One was so bad I couldn't help myself and started cleaning. 